Today I'm going to show you how you could create a Swift framework using Xcode 11. A framework is another way of packaging and sharing code in a safe and secure manner because you distribute the compiled version of your code. If what you're sharing is for public consumption, normally hiding code implementation details would be one of your requirements. Let's have a quick tour of the framework. Framework resources are stored in a bundle directory. The bundle directory name format includes the name of the framework, then the framework extension. In the bundle, you will find several things such as the compiled code or binary, the header files. They're useful if you're going to use the framework with Objective-C. The module map which describes the relationship or hierarchy of the headers. The Swift modules which is similar to the headers but made for Swift and other resources or files that the framework publisher included in the framework. Other things to note when building frameworks, a framework will build with the app if the app project is being built in the same architecture as the framework. For example, you built a framework for the simulator. You can use that framework in an app project if you're running the app in the simulator. Otherwise, there will be a mismatch of architectures that will prevent the app from building. The limitation about architectures has been addressed by creating an XE framework, which was introduced in the 2019 WWDC. XE framework is a new distribution format that allows us to include more than one framework or library in one XE framework. Even if today we already have Swift 5, I just want you to be aware about module stability and ABI stability. I will have a separate video to discuss those topics and we're just going to focus on building the framework today. Our library is a very simple library with one view controller and a sib file. Then later we will integrate it into an iOS application which I also prepared ahead of time. Okay. Using Xcode 11, I'm going to create a new project. In the template screen, in the Framework and Libraries section, choose the Framework template, then click Next to move to the next screen. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this Framework My Framework. I'll select Swift as the language. Then optionally, you can include unit tests. Click Next to move to the next screen. Here you can initialize Git and I'm not going to do that now. Now we have the framework project created. And currently we have a header file and the products group. The auto-generated header file has the project version constants that could be useful in checking the version or build number of the framework. Then in the products group, we have a reference to the framework bundle. Now we need to add some code to our framework. I prepared the code ahead of time, so I'll just copy them into the project. We have the manager class, one view controller, and a sieve file. The view controller is just an empty colored view controller, while the manager class has the initializer and the view controller method that returns an instance of the my view controller. Make sure the classes and method you want your users to have access to is set to public. Otherwise, uh, they will not see the class or method when used in their projects. Okay, let's explore the Build Faces tab. Here we can see the header section where you can add your headers and their appropriate visibility. 
there's also the compile sources you'll see the files here which are going to be compiled when the project is built then we have the copy bundle resources it means all resources that you intend to be included in the framework bundle should be added here in this example we can see the myviewcontroller sib file was added I'm now going to build the framework and I'm going to make sure that the simulator is selected in the scheme selector then I'm going to click the run button to build the framework let me show you a list of things that happens when the framework is being built I'm gonna go to the report navigation and select the latest build as you can see in the latest build a list of things are happening in building this framework the list include creating the build directory compiling Swift source files compiling the sib and many other things since we already built this framework uh, we need to copy it into the iOS project in the products group I'm going to locate and right click the framework product and then show in finder what I want to do next is drag the framework into the iOS project since I intend to use a copy of the framework I'm going to make sure the copy if items is needed option is checked then click finish so right now this iOS project will have a copy of the framework first I want to make sure if the path to the framework was added in the build settings then in framework search path we want to make sure the path is correct and right now the path seems correct the framework path uh, should end with the folder where the framework is located and it should not include the framework name in the path Xcode will locate the framework by appending the framework name when it is linking then I'm gonna go to the link binary with libraries build faces and we can see our framework was added okay so far the setup looks correct I'm gonna open the view controller here in the view controller the framework is imported then in the open action method an instance of the manager is created then we pass an instance of the view controller to a new constant which will be presented when the button is pressed I'm going to run this project now so here we have an error that says library not loaded image not found okay let's explore why it can't find the library earlier after copying the framework we saw that the framework path and the link binary with libraries were set up correctly so I'm going to see if the framework is in the app bundle since it says the image is not found in the products group I will right click the app then show in finder then right click the app package and show package contents now we can see the apps bundle and there's no sign of our framework all right I'll go back to the project and look at the uh, general tab and scroll to the framework section there's our framework and currently it says do not embed what if I select any of the embed options then build the app typically you would sign the framework so it includes the publishers identity and it is also an indication that it is from a valid publisher all right now the app is running and with no issues okay how about exploring the app package again 
I'm going to right click the app, then open the package. Now you can see the framework was added in the app and it's within the frameworks folder. The common issues with creating and integrating frameworks uh, typically include missing a source file, the wrong framework path was set, and duplicate copies of frameworks in the project, which may be due to previously copying the framework, but it was not completely removed from the project. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'd like to know what common issues or tips you could share in the comments. If you're interested to learn how to create a static library, I have a couple of videos about that. If you don't want to miss any of my tutorials, please click the subscribe button and enable the notifications.